we are recapping the storms of the weekend and taking you into this week ahead weather-wise. After tracking Hurricane Raphael for the past two weeks, we can confirm it has dissipated as of Sunday afternoon. All coastal watches and warnings associated with what is now post-tropical cyclone Raphael have been lifted. Shifting our focus to the Caribbean, the intertropical convergence zone, the ITCZ, is a bit modulated and is currently positioned south of the Lesser Antilles. This zone is well-defined and we will continue Continue to monitor it as it may lead to additional weather activity in the region. We're also monitoring a possible area of disturbance that is expected to form later this week. Locally, it was quite cloudy today and we had a few showers across Trinidad and Tobago, even isolated thunderstorms. This weather was influenced by a subtropical front, increased moisture and surface convergence near our islands. So there's a lot going on out there. Tonight, we expect variably cloudy skies with intermittent showers in many areas across the islands, along with a medium chance of isolated thunderstorms. If you have outdoor plans tomorrow, you may want to reconsider as partly cloudy to cloudy skies are expected with a medium chance of isolated thunderstorms, especially from the morning to afternoon period. So please beware that heavy downpours could bring gusty winds, street flooding and possible flash flooding. For those of you heading out to sea, conditions are likely to be moderate with waves or wave heights rather, up to 2 meters in open waters and below 1 meter in nearshore areas. Higher than usual, tides are expected due to the effects of long period swells drifting southward and the onset of spring tides later this week.